So this saddle is very, very easy with this seat post uh, to get off. All you're going to use is a six millimeter wrench. You undo the, the six millimeter wrench. It's usually anywhere between four millimeters and six millimeters. Sometimes there's two screws and it's really easy. You just unscrew it to a point where the, the head just spins to the side and it pops right off. And when you're installing a saddle, usually unless you're doing time trials, you want to make sure that the angle goes that way. So the head of the seat post is towards the back of the saddle. Now to put it back together, you just turn this to the side, the head to the side, and then turn it on the saddle. You may need to loosen it a little bit. And it should fit perfectly on the rails. And then you tighten it down. And place it in between those max lines. So making sure not to go outside the lines so the saddle is placed correctly. And now I'll show you how to put it on a bicycle. So you put your seat post back in the seat tube of your bicycle. Get it to the height that you had it at before. Sometimes it's really good to use um, a piece of electrical tape or some type of tape to, uh, to mark where your saddle is so um, you're not constantly adjusting it and, and getting frustrated with the level that it's at. Make sure you tighten it down to the proper torque and then, then you need to adjust the saddle head. So basically what this does is when it's loose, it kind of ratchets back and forth. So you don't want your saddle like that, and you don't want your saddle like that. That's, uh, that's bad news. You're going to fall off your saddle, or, you're gonna, or that's going to be really, really painful. So you kind of want it in between. Everybody's a little bit different. Um, I like my saddle pretty level. If you have a different type of saddle, like let's say you have a Brooks saddle, which is the, those nice leather saddles, sometimes you slide off of them too much, so you need them elevated slightly. Um, so kind of get the feel of where it's best for you. The generic location is kind of a little bit level, maybe a little bit with the nose up just so you're not falling off and um, uh, putting too much weight on your hands. And then use that six millimeter and tighten, tighten the saddle to the proper torque, whatever it says according to the manufacturer's specifications. Make sure it's nice and tight so you're not gonna, um, so it's not gonna ratchet back or forward when you're on it. And that is how to install your saddle.